And all of us, I think, are familiar with Pastor Kay Walker, but I don't think that we know uh, too much about uh, Pastor Walker's granddaughter. And he's going to explain her to us this morning when he talk, we talk about background, education, and experience. Mr. Chenault, let's start with you by having you to give us some statements in reference to your background, education, and experiences. And take about three minutes, and then we'll have Pastor Walker to uh, give us some similar kind of information. And he will also tell us why he is in uh, control this morning <laughs> of uh, his granddaughter, uh, Bailey. Let's start with you, Dr. Chenault. Okay, first of all, I'd like to say good afternoon. And I'm very happy to be here today. Well, I'm a native of Nashville. I was born and nurtured right here in the Music City. I attended Cameron High School, where I graduated, and from there I attended Spelman College in Atlanta, Georgia, with a major in psychology and dramatic arts. After which I attended Fisk Meharry Joint Clinical Psychology Program did not complete the, the program, but earned 36 hours toward my uh, clinical psychology degree. I went on to attend Illinois State University, where I earned my master's degree in education with a specialty in special education. After teaching for a number of years, I decided to go back and get another degree which is in a, a doctorate degree in education administration and leadership. And so in a, in a real sense, you've had an opportunity to live around the Nashville community for a long time and uh, uh, do a lot of things educationally within uh, Nashville. Is that what we're saying? Yes, indeed. Nashville is my home mm -hmm. and Nashville will always be my home. I have six siblings here in Nashville, uh, my mother and father also as well uh, were born and raised in Tennessee uh, and in Davidson County. So very much so, and in the last five years since I have uh, returned to Nashville, I have been actively involved in the NAACP. Prior to that, I was the executive director of the Urban League in Illinois. But in the last five years, as I said, I have been an active member in the NAACP. I've been chair of the Education Committee. I have also uh, been assistant branch secretary. Currently, I am the branch secretary of the NAACP. Very good. Pastor Walker, let's uh, have you to give us some information. I think that uh, our audience certainly is familiar with you, but they may not, they may not know uh, this young lady that you have with you and explain not only your background in education, but tell, say something about uh, Bailey. Okay, Dr. Hanwell, again, thanks for allowing me to be on your show this morning. Uh, my name is Pastor Kelvin L. Walker, born and raised right here in Nashville, Tennessee. I attended the public schools here in Nashville. Uh, pretty much everybody been around know my story, you know, that uh, never uh, didn't complete high school. I actually got kicked out of all the public school systems in the state, in, in Nashville, Davidson County. But uh, went in the Navy at a young age, age 17. I went into the military, went into the Navy. And uh, when I got out of the Navy, uh, after serving a short period of time there, I uh, didn't serve out the full term of my enlistment there. I was a, kind of one of those characters back during those times. And uh, got out of the Navy, went through OIC Opportunities Industrialization Center and got a GED through there. From there, I went to Tennessee State uh, for a while. Uh, all the time, I was uh, addicted to drugs all during that period of time in the Navy and all through, uh, through my time at Tennessee State University, I wanted to be a fashion designer. Mm -hmm. And uh, that didn't pan out either because of my drug addiction. But uh, I come here today and I got my little granddaughter. This is my granddaughter, Bailey. Bailey's uh, story is unique in and of itself. On uh, March the 24th, 2015, uh, her mother was murdered. My daughter was murdered uh, here in a domestic situation. And We've been taking care of her. My wife and I have been taking care of her, raising her and her brother. She's three years old, her brother's four. And this is my little princess right here. And she's gonna grow up to be a, a powerful young lady. And that's what we're here today to talk, talk about, you know, empowering the natural branch of the NAACP so that we can ensure that there's a voice out there for the future of, of our children. You know, she's important to me. And, uh, her and all of my other grandchildren, she's very important. So we got to do that and power the NAACP so that we can have a voice for the people mm -hmm. out here, especially for our youth. Very good. And of course, what we'll do, Pastor, is to uh, take our first commercial break and then we'll get back and talk about with you and Dr. Chenault, talk about some of the aspects of the NAACP. And we'll be back with our audience following this very, very short commercial break.
second segment, right. and this is eight minute. Okay. segment and so whatever you want to talk about this is a, you know okay. I'll introduce the show again okay. and then uh, we'll and, and this eight minutes you'll have about four minutes and we'll okay. try to put pastor give him four minutes okay. and just start off and take about three minutes and then we'll give him three minutes and okay. come back and let him okay. close, close, close us out. clock huh? <laughs> okay no well you just okay just okay yeah just That's you know fine. just yeah Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. See it all. See it all. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you and welcome back to the second segment of the show for today. We're talking to uh, Dr. Uh, Tallulah Chenault and uh, Pastor Kay Walker and his granddaughter, Bailey. And uh, we're talking about uh, empowering the NAACP. And uh, Dr. Uh, Chenault, let's see if we can pick up uh, during this second segment to give you an opportunity to say something about the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People that you would like for our audience to know this morning. Well, after giving such a, a long or a trail of, of information regarding my education, mm -hmm. I would like to um, state and really explain why I'm here. Mm -hmm. uh, not only to talk about the empowerment of the uh, community, uh, but also to talk with the community about some things that I would like to see happen at the NAACP. Mm -hmm. I'm currently running for president mm -hmm. of the Nashville branch NAACP. Mm -hmm. Why? Because I would like to see a new image, a new focus uh, in our branch. Mm -hmm. In terms of empowerment, uh, one of my important platforms is voter registration. Mm -hmm. I think today with everything that's happening in the election process that African Americans, in order to be empowered, need to vote. We have always needed to vote, but it is incumbent upon us today to get the vote out. As president of the Nashville branch in AACP, I plan to, um, to have uh, a voter registration program every year and all during the year because I think that's really important. Uh, as well, um, I have... Um, <laughs> and, 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 and so in a real sense, uh, voter registration is one of the most important things that you see. Now, why would you think in terms of uh, enlisting and getting African Americans to vote? Why is that important to you now? Well, I think it's very important because everything is political. Mm -hmm. Everything is political from um, education to economic development is important to the quality of health care to affordable housing. If we are not voting, if we are not at the table, 